Good afternoon. This is Jonathan Meisel um, addressing a, let's say, an issue that could have very, very devastating medical repercussions on anybody of any health, particularly those people uh, such as myself who have been diagnosed with a primary immune deficiency. Little story for you. I was in the doctor's office uh, about a month ago. I don't want to say exactly what type of doctor or the scenario that it was in, but uh, I will say that um, I had an incision that was made um, within my body for a particular check. And one of the things that I remember that really caught my attention at the time and that stuck in my head today was the fact that the doctor's assistant who was assisting in the uh, performance of the minor procedure had on a pair of latex sanitized gloves. During the procedure, uh, this particular assistant answered her cell phone. She spoke on the cell phone with the gloves, and afterwards she resumed the procedure. Um, I noticed at the time I wanted to say something. Um, I could kick myself now, but I did not want to embarrass her. I did not want to humiliate her in any sort of way. So I just kept my mouth shut. I'm typically not the type of person to keep my mouth shut, but I'm typically not the type of person that wants to embarrass somebody. Okay, so she answered the cell phone with her pair of uh, sanitized gloves, and I just happened to take a look today at the latest issue of Men's Health magazine, and online, of course, and they have an article that is called How to Beat Six Everyday Infection Spreaders. So, down the list, one of the, uh, actually it's the first thing that they list as being the biggest source of germs which are spread is the cell phone. Uh, they found many, many, many types of germs and bacteria on cell phones. However, uh, very interestingly, um, the most dangerous thing that they found is something which is called methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, which is also known as MRSA, which many of you may recognize is the the form of uh, bacteria that is resistant to almost all types of antibio uh, antibiotics, and it can be deadly if it enters the bloodstream. This particular article refers to Mercer as Staphylococcus on steroids. Okay, uh, it has been about a month since I had the procedure done, which uh, despite having a uh, common variable immune deficiency, uh, something which leaves me very, very, um, very, very open to infections, and uh, could present really a deadly health risk. I'm feeling fine. Uh, the window is closed for which I believe that uh, something would have happened, but I have to say, my oh my oh my, how could a doctor or a, in this case, an assistant be so irresponsible to use a cell phone with those types of bacteria and those type of uh, pathogens on the phone and resume touching somebody who is uh, who has had an incision on, uh, on his body. The message that I'm taking away from this, uh, this episode and hopefully the message that you will take away is that um, doctors, dentists, Physicians' assistants are in a position of authority. They should know better. However, judging by this experience and judging by something which I read very recently, that doctors, physicians who, uh, who underwent a recent study, do not wash their hands properly. 
we as patients must police them. We must monitor them. We must make sure that they are doing their, their job correctly, safely, and in a sterile manner because it is ultimately we the patients who bear the risk for their mistakes. This is Jonathan Meisel. I hope that you will join me again soon uh, for a next post on my website and on my blog channel. Uh, for this afternoon, from me and my dog Halva, who is taking a little nap on the sofa right now, um, I wish you a very pleasant afternoon.